One of my favorite things about traveling is the ability to see other cultures and to see other ways of life and to see how people live. That's just like the most fun thing for me. And we totally got to experience that in Fiji in many ways. And one of my favorite ways was we went um, to a Fijian village in the middle of the island. Um, to get there was quite the journey. So part of our tour of the village is we had a welcome ceremony where we all went into the community hall. We offered gifts for being there and then we all drank kava and even- Well, one of the gifts we gave was the kava. Kava root. And then they prepared yep. the kava root. Yeah, so it's tradition then that everyone drinks kava. And so everyone except Shay and Adele. Yeah. Tried it. Crosby had a, a whole cup full <laughs> right afterwards. He goes, my tongue tastes funny or my, my tongue feels funny. <laughs> It starts to go numb when you drink the kava. But then afterwards we toured the village and it was just really eye-opening to see such a small, a very small community, a village with not very many houses but 200 people live yeah. there, like multiple, multiple generations in a single house. And, and they live so communally, which kind of goes with the values that we kind of took away from there. I mean, they, the women get up all together in the morning and they go to the communal kitchen and they prepare meals for the day. And it's a very small kitchen. <laughs> There's the shower. Kitchen. Well. That's the kitchen. Extremely yeah. small. And they made us a meal when we were there. So the entire group had a massive meal. And it was really good. And they all made it on that little kitchen somehow. I don't know how they did that. Yeah. Three, four. One, two, three. Yeah. Yes. So here's our lunch. Not yet. 
Yeah, yeah, maybe you. In Fijian way, you sit on the floor and you eat with your hands. So they had rice and you scoop it with your hands and you eat with your hands. And so, I mean, what an adjustment. What a cultural yeah. eye-opening experience for us. How do we eat? Do we sit at a table here? Mm -hmm. Or do we sit on the ground and cross our legs? Sit on the ground cross. Yep, we sit on the ground and cross our legs and we don't wear shoes, right? We don't have our shoes on. No shoes. And we eat everything with our hands. You don't have to use a fork or a spoon here. You eat everything with your hands, right? Shay's eating his rice with his hands. Hello. How was lunch, Dad? Good. It was different. I'm not, I'm not used to eating without a fork. <laughs> I like it. It was up your alley, though, wasn't it? Yeah. It was good. Food. What was your favorite? Chicken. And just the value, I mean, just how happy just how happy and giving they are in their culture i mean and so much of that goes in line with what they do mm -hmm. i mean they just love on people um singing dancing playing instruments that's so huge i mean everyone sings and dances and no one makes fun of your moves it's just <laughs> that's what you do and they have the best of times and it was so fun to um, be a part of that and to have a glimpse of that for a day and i hope someday we can go back another really cool thing about the village is is that they like have such confidence in the, their children's abilities, even at like, a very young age. Uh, multiple people at the village and other places in Fiji told us at three years old to learn to swim as their parents would throw them in the river and say swim, and they would learn. At young ages also like climbing up coconut trees to pull down the coconuts, and the trust in their kids' ability to do hard things. At the village that we were at in particular, the school is on the other side of the river. And so all of the kids would, would trek down a, a trail that's probably... A Just good, like a foot trail. A foot trail for a decent... It was a decent hike down to the river. And they would have what they called river clothes. And they would swim across the river. And the younger ones, the, the older kids put the younger ones on their backs. And they would tread across the river. And once they got to the other side, they had a, a bag, a watertight bag of their school clothes, their school uniform. And they put that on all, and grab all their books and they go off to school and they leave all their clothes out on the riverbed to dry. When they came back from school, they changed clothes again and they tread across the river. And this was every single day that, that these young kids would go across the river and to go to school. And there was trust in that. Their families trusted that those older kids were going to take care of those younger kids and they did. Yep. They did. And they all grew up. They all, I mean, they all love children so much and they're so great with children. Lastly, I. I mean, there's just so many things, but another thing that really, really stuck out is the value they place on every single human being. I mean, they, right when you meet a Fijian, they ask you your name and you know, a lot of people do that and you tell them and you're like, oh, they're not going to remember. Or they're just saying that. No, they ask you your name, right? Right from the beginning. And they will not forget your name. I mean, there's six of us in our family. They asked every single one of our names and they were calling us by our <laughs> names um, within five minutes. And I mean, when we were on the tour, we were on that day tour and our guide was calling Adele by name and Adele would have her tantrums and start screaming and she would be like, Adele, what is the <laughs> problem here? Come on, Adele. Adele. And I mean, it was just amazing. The love and compassion um, they have for other people. And I just want to incorporate that into my life as much as I can and to find value in that because it really is all about the relationship. Adele, did the truck not come pick us up at the end of our village? The truck didn't come. So now we're hiking it out. Shay's hot. How are you doing, Duff? Good. Yeah?